Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. Like uh, always, I uh, always get a lot of requests to blow speakers and uh, you know I never really uh, record it so here's three speakers that I'm going to be throwing out or planned on throwing out. First one we have here is a Panasonic 6 ohm home theater subwoofer, believe it or not. You know, they'll kind of get in a theater in a box. And these two guys, these are from uh, a couple Sanyos, 8 ohms, 20 watts, vintage square magnet. I don't know if you could tell on, see on this camera. We got little squiggles or M NWs on the uh, spider in there. Funky. These were out of, well, I might as well just show you, these speakers. Yep, and they sound like crap. Okay, so we're going to be starting out with the Sanyo one here, the nice uh, decked out one. We will be plugging it into the main power, 120 volts, and uh, we'll see the outcome of this guy. I don't know if it's going to last very long. Probably not. They usually don't even last when you plug them into a stereo. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I've never had one do that before. Oh, sweet. You can't, hard to tell, but look at that. <laughs> Pushed it right past the spider. Looks like the, uh, oh wow, looks like the uh, voice coil is actually quite intact in there, but punched it out pretty good. Right on to our next victim. Now for the home theater sub. Yes! Dry ice effect. Cool. Now for our last Sanyo. And I'm going to kind of aerate the... Wow, look at the... That must have been the original color. If you take the dust cap off, the uh, voice coil usually reacts a little better. Because it won't kind of muffle it out. We can see some carnage, it's uh, completely off track here. As a matter of fact, looks like uh, it will work. We can have a little upside down speaker here. There we are. All right, that's all I've got for now. I'll be sure to post more videos when I get some more speakers to demolish for you.